Hi again, Candice, the edgy veg, your Yoda for vegan things. I have grown quite a bit in the last year, so I wanted to welcome all of the new people to my channel and also put a little video together for you guys, you're, you new vegans, you transitioning vegans. And I thought a fun place to start would be how to make your own plant-based milks at home. So today we're gonna talk about how to make your own plant-based milks at home. If you like these types of videos where we really break down one subject, give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below what is your ultimate plant-based milk. All right, plant-based milks are fun. There's so many options out there now. I remember when I was younger, we only really had soy milk. My sister was lactose intolerant and we grew up in a predominantly vegetarian home. I didn't really have normal milk in my fridge. And I hated soy milk. Like I hated it. We've come a long way. Did you know that you can make your own plant-based milks at home? It's what I used to do when I first went vegan before we had like macadamia nut milk and cashew milk and all the different types of milks that we have now. I didn't even know oat milk was a thing until a couple of years ago. It's fun once you get like the base down because then you can mix and match. Like you can do like an almond and a cashew or like a hemp and, a, and an oat. Or like if you have one that's a little bit more watery and you want it to you know, thicken it up or thicken the protein level with something else, you can definitely mix and match a bunch of different things. So you can make plant-based milks out of nuts, seeds, grains. There are so many different variations that you can make at home and it's really, really easy. Mostly what you need to worry about is the ratio of like your material. So let's say it's like almonds or cashews to water and for the most part, it's relatively the same across the board unless you get into a couple specific ones that are outliers. The general rule that I like to use is four to five cups of liquid to about a cup of whatever nut seed grain that you wanna use. And then you just blend that together with a little bit of salt and that's a really easy base. A lot of people like to use a nut milk bag, but I prefer a fine mesh sieve because I feel like you don't have to work as hard to get the, the milk from the nuts, so this is great. And you can save all of this pulp to make like baked goods or to throw into smoothies. Like if you like to add almond butter to smoothies, for example, you can just add this almond meal. Also really good for like homemade granola bars if you're into making that sort of thing. You can do the same thing with oat milk. You just add the oats, blend it, and you have like a nice base for your milk. Now you can use that in your cereal, you can use it in your coffee. I mean, she's not aesthetic. I mean, not as like pretty as the other ones, that's for sure. No. Can you smell that though? It smells like Christmas baking. Mm. It does smell like a lot of coconut. Right? This is so good in like smoothies and coffee. I don't generally like to cook with these because they are a little less stable than the ones that are engineered by like scientists and food manufacturers so that you can use it for cooking. So mainly with these guys that you're making at home, I like to stick to like drinking it or like just on its own or putting it in your cereal or putting it into your coffee. Once you have your base down of, you know, four to five cups of water, one cup of whatever grain seed, or nut that you're using and then a pinch of salt. You can also very, very easily make vanilla milk by adding, you know, vanilla extract. You can sweeten that by adding, you know, two to four dates, depending on how sweet you want your milk to be. You could even make chocolate milk by adding, you know, four dates, two tablespoons of cocoa powder and some vanilla and then you have a really delicious chocolate milk. Okay, and then adding the oat milk to the sieve. You really wanna make sure that it's a fine mesh sieve because the oats um, tend to have smaller particles than the almonds do. And also, you don't want to, like an almond milk, something like that, you can blend for like up to two minutes. But with oat milk, it'll get really gummy if you do it any more than 30 seconds. So I really would not blend it for more than 30 seconds. One of my favorite things in the world is almond cinnamon milk. So all you have to do is just add, you know, a couple dates and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And oh my God, it's so good. And it makes a really nice milk for your coffee too. Most plant-based milks keep in the fridge from anywhere between three to five days. I do give that range because the materials that you're using, they kind of vary across the board in terms of breakdown and when they tend to turn. 
you can pretty much use it up until the point where it smells kind of funky. I find that, you know, I go through a carton of store-bought plant-based milk almost every day, if not every two days. So chances are you're not going to have it in your fridge for that long anyway. They're also a really nice thing to add to your smoothies as well. And then right there, bang, you've got a cup of milk gone already. So you, I really wouldn't worry about too much wastage with that. And also just like mix and match your flavors. I love putting a homemade chocolate oat milk in my coffee. It makes like an instant mocha, which is really delicious. So you can definitely use these for a couple different things. Or if you use like a chocolate cereal with chocolate oat milk, oh my God, like could you think of anything more decadent? If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I make new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. And I would love to see your beautiful face every weekend in the comment sections. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.